You've got any throat book for Thale? Um, no. What about one of them ball caps with teeth on them? Absolutely not. How's about a big novelty wang? Uh-uh. Can I use your washroom? Good God, no! What that thing? It's a time machine. How much? $10,000. It worked, right? We'd like a charm. Just remember, to always wear one of the wristbands when you time travel, otherwise you won't be able to return to the present day. What, what, what is that? Is that some kind of foreshadowing or something? Possibly. I'll take it. What? Time machine. You spent the whole ten grand on a lousy fucking time machine? Well, that's just beautiful! Hear me out, woman, I got a plan. Maybe if you shut your great big stupid pie hole for a minute and let me fit it. Speaking of pie, what was that Joe with that idiot cop always eating the pie? The one about the dead chick and the weird stuff and the midgets and things. <laughs> Twin Peaks. Yeah, I never got that. Mm. All right, the plan. See, I got the time machine, right? And he's got the 10 grand. So now all I gotta do is go back in time and get the money. That ain't gonna work. You know, maybe I ain't never amounted to nothing because you've never believed in me. Just this once, I wish you'd fucking trust me and get in the time machine. Fine, but just so as you know, I was only doing it to prove how much of an a-hole you is. <laughs> Told you it worked, didn't I? See, I'm smarter than you, stupid. See, and look, there's the time machine. But you ain't bought it yet! It's in our kitchen, fuck! Use your head! How you think we got here? It ain't in our kitchen, cause you ain't bought it yet! All you did was put us right back where you started! Except now, instead of me sitting on my ass at home, having a few, I'm stuck here! Fuck! You sent us back in time to before when you bought the time machine. Which means we don't got the time machine. What would that guy's name who liked the pie? You's an idiot. Just get the fuck out and buy the goddamn machine so that I can get back to my drinking. I thought you didn't want me spending the cash on it. Now that I know it works, I ain't got no problem. You see, all we gotta do is buy it, go home, then send ourselves back in time until just after we bought it and take the money. Then we go home and we'll have the cash and the time machine. Bye. Jesus Lord, now this day's gonna be 25 hours long, and I had to do the heavy lifting. It ain't like I weren't doing my chair. I had the heavy end. You've always got the heavy end. God damn, I wish you was dead. Take a fucking number, Large. Son, son of a bitch, what is this? It's sweat, you moron. It's disgust. Is it any wonder I never work? Let's just go and get our money back. Them last nine beers is hitting me, and I'm getting kind of sleepy. Nine. That's fuck all. <laughs> Nice 
Just look at it. Life finally turning our way, baby. That time machine is the answer to all our prayers. Hey, maybe we can send you back in time to when you wasn't fat. You'd have been better off sending yourself back in time to right before you just said that. Why? Because then you wouldn't have gotten hit in the face with this ashtray! <laughs> <laughs> Kyle McLaughlin, you the pie guy. Hey, what happened to my head? Kevin threw an ashtray at you. Man, just wait till I get my hands on that little prick. Hit me in the head, will ya? <laughs> nice shot! You know daddy don't like it when you lift his smokes. Kevin told his mom that thanks to his new friend Jim the Stun Gun, he pretty much didn't give a whistling shit what anyone thought, least of all the old man. <coughs> Sounds like he's coming too. Here, let me try. <coughs> cool, I'll be back in five. I'm gonna go straighten out that know-it-all Mrs. McNaughton next door. <laughs> At first, Kevin was angry. Then he got a little confused and asked Alan how it was possible for him to scare him since he only existed in Kevin's head. Oh, um, uh, hey, look, a uh, time machine. Uh, let's fuck around. Here, put this bracelet on so that we can get back to present time. Kevin couldn't help but think that it was really contrived that Alan automatically knew how to work the time machine. Almost as if Kevin's life was a TV show and the person who wrote it was lazy, or lacked the talent to create a plausible narrative structure instead of a series of cheap happenstance scenarios that relied almost completely on convenient coincidence instead of proper storytelling technique. Then a rabid wolverine suddenly materialized and mauled Kevin's foot. Kevin decided to never think about such questions again. Where to, broken head? Kevin was excited by the endless possibilities. He now had the ability to travel backwards or forwards in time to any point in the entire history of mankind. Kevin was fascinated by all the potentially wondrous technological advances mankind would make in the future, so he picked the day after tomorrow. Kevin didn't much cotton to putting up with Alan's sarcasm, so he told the bird to go fuck himself. If I could do that, I'd never leave the house. Disappeared forever. 
Any chance of you imagining me to be blind until that the front of humanity and all things decent is over? Oh, my fucking head! Please, God, help me! Uh-oh! He's awake again! <laughs> I don't mean to be ignorant or nothing, boy. But I spent the ten grand you got for that out-of-court settlement to get me these here whores. Time's money, and the clock's a ticking. So why don't you bugger off until tomorrow? Use the back door and go quietly. Daddy's sleeping. Now are you ready to listen to me? Uh. Good. Get your stern gun and let you and me head back in time away. I got a plan. Uh. <laughs> Hurry the hell up, boy! We've got some high living to do! <laughs> well, I never! Yeah! Well, maybe if you was dead, your husband would quit stopping by my place on his way to work to dink me! Man, this is gonna be sweet. Everything we ever dreamed of, boy. You hear me? Money, chick, power. Kevin liked the sound of that, but he was curious and wondered if he could also get a hamster. That's actually a Marlin you thinking of, boy. You always get them confused. That's why your room smells so bad. Holy snap, an arsehole I feel rough. That must have been a coconut rum bender. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Ah, Sasquatch! Please don't kill me, man ape! For the last time, I ain't a Bigfoot! Oh, it's you. My head ain't right. Last thing I remember was two days ago. I was in this small town and joined some pie and trying to solve a murder. I hate to boist your bubble, moron, but you spent the last two days lying on the kitchen floor clinging to life. The boy kept shooting you in the head with his stun gun. I tried to stop him, but well, you know, I was torn between not wanting to lose your UI checks. And hoping he'd kill you. So you just stood there and did nothing. Where the hell are you going? Back in time to this morning when I still had them whores paid for. Once again, you have shamed this family. Fine, you go back to your whores and useless life. So I guess this is goodbye then. Goodbye forever. See ya in hell then, you fat fuck. Me first, me first. Shit. We can't go anywhere without the bracelet. Otherwise, we'll be gone forever. The fucking boy must have took him. I got a plan. All we got to do is go back in time to right before we bought this thing. Buy it again, then kill Kevin and make sure he don't never fuck around with it no more. How come every plan you come up with always involves killing the boy? It just does. Now haul yourself out of the way so I can set the controls. I already lugged this fucking thing into the house once and I ain't doing it again. I don't care about the bracelets, none. I'm just going back to this morning, over and over and over again, so as I can live this day for the rest of my life. The hell you are. Try and stop me, prick. Just watch me. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Where in the name of sweet blessed Xavier Hollander are we? We never switched the dials none, so we must be wherever in time the boy went. So that means all we gotta do is track down the little fucker and take the bracelets back. And kill him. I wonder where we is in time. Someplace stupid knowing the boy. Come on, he got that bad heart, smoker's lungs, and a drinking problem, so he can't be far. 
Halt, intruder! Shoot that prick with a the taser, then tell his buddy Weeze want to talk to that Caligula <laughs> fella. Why am I being disturbed by this funny-looking boy, Sentry? Dispose of him! Oh, and if your partner isn't dead already, finish him off as punishment for his failings! Ooh, he don't fuck around. Time to take control of this thing, boy. Put that smack down on this here idiot and let Steve control. As soon as we's in power, boy, it's nothing but booze and chicks till we die. <laughs> Kevin followed the advice of his imaginary friend, and they confronted the Emperor Caligula. Soon everyone in the Empire was bowing before Kevin and proclaiming him as their new leader, a wonderful man-child sent from the heavens to guide them to new heights of progress and civilization. Kevin felt like America, because he knew they were only acting that way because he had better weapons. But that didn't stop him from developing a smug sense of misguided superiority, and soon he began to really believe that people liked him for his leadership skills and personality. <laughs> oh, fuck! You fall down again? Yeah! <laughs> ah! Look out, Ravine! <laughs> Detective Dale Cooper. I swear, after all this bullshit, if you still want to kill the boy, you better get to him before I do. Finally, fuck, look. Let's go. Halt. Yeah, like I'm gonna listen to a fucking Shriner. I'm kinda having a bad day here, so how's about you go fuck yourself? Kill him, fuck! Kill him! Hit him in the fucking head again! A lot! Son of a, my head hurt something awful, boy, see? Price to pay for drinking, fatty. It wasn't the booze, idiot! Remember them two funny hot guys? Was hit us in the head with swords? Can't say as I do. Then again, I ain't too smart like, and mostly I'm drunk. Plus, I probably ain't the best guy to ask about what's happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two strangely dressed and malformed foreigners laughing about? Have you no idea the grave severity of your circumstance? Yeah, we just went on a bender and ended up in the joint. Big fucking deal. Business as usual for me and Barnath. This is no mere jail. We are to be thrown to the gladiators. Our deaths are sudden. You mean the real life gladiators? With the big chest and the short skirts? Half naked? Um, uh, yes. How's my makeup look? On your feet, prisoners! The stadium in your fate awaits! Kevin couldn't agree more, but then he got to thinking that any day when the government can dictate the death of someone less fortunate couldn't be all bad, and he started to feel better about himself. Get aboard, Kevin. And hey, there's still the gladiator fight. Maybe some of those poor people will land a few before our soldiers decimate them for no other reason than entertainment and personal gain. Now give me a smoke and let's watch us some carnage and mayhem.
Kevin hadn't thought about the grave impact of running out of smokes, and he was terrified. It's okay, Kevin. Tobacco's been around for centuries. They gotta have smokes of some kind around here. Kevin thought about it for a minute, then figured since they didn't stock his brand, they could just go fuck themselves, and that he and Alan had no choice but to return to the future. Fine, I guess I see your point, but since we traveled all this way, let's watch us some state sanctioned killing while we're here. That ain't the kind of thing we got in the future. <laughs> Not in Canada, anyway, said Kevin, but if worse came to worse, they could always move to Texas. We bring on the gladiators. Hands off, fuck, I'm going. Lousy screw. Be voiced, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Have a little consideration, fuck, I'm hungover. Holy snapping assholes, look, it's the boy. Holy fuck, thought Kevin. His parents were about to be slaughtered by a fierce gladiator, and they always had smokes. As near as Kevin could figure, it was the very best day of his life. As was the custom, Percy and Anastasia were allowed one question to the Emperor before they had to face the gladiator and fight to the death. Is that pie? Yes, said Kevin. Looks good. Bring on the noise, cocksucker! Hang on! I ain't asked my question yet! Isn't the whole idea of a time machine ridiculous and completely outside the bounds of scientific possibility? Kevin thought about it for a moment and then said yes. Yes, it was. 